Samphire Ho is a bit of a gem with a hidden menace, rocks. Many anglers don't want to wrestle and tangle with them, but it doesn't worry top sea angler Sol Page. He loves it. You've just got to do some homework and place your bait between the boulders. When we arrive, he's already pulling in a few fish. Um, I went about 20 fish already this morning, ranging pollock, pouting, wrasse. I had a small codling, which was a surprise. Um, I had the codling casting out, but most of the other fish had just been straight down the side. Today, he's using ragworms from Southampton, sourced from Folkestone, and they're doing the trick. The lighter side of fishing is much more fun than just traditional, what I class as traditional, what I grew up with, was casting six ounce leads with a flapping rig or a clip rig, chucking very large baits, almost, you know, as far as you can. Whereas now we, we make a lot more of the venues that we fish by scaling down our tackle, our hook sizes, our line diameters so that we can fish the rocky places and be successful. Um, and it's, it's very quick. When you're fishing light, you find that you catch sort of everything that's there rather than just one fish every now and again or nothing sometimes. Joining Saul today is George Cunningham from Tronics. He's LRFing it. It's become so popular now, everyone's at it, and it, it, for a good reason, you know, it's great fun. But more about that next week. Now, Soul has heard every trick in the book about additives and flavours to make your offerings a little more tasty, including these. Um, certain sun creams, I think, for me, is, is probably the most out there, because I spend a lot of time when I'm abroad, any sunny sort of country. Um, is doing my best not to get sun cream on my hands and on the bait. Um, but I have been told by anglers all around England of varying different sun creams, um, oils and various concoctions that they've made to try. Um, I haven't found a lot of success with most. Um, the only one I would say that I heard was WD-40, which is a well-known um, additive which they use a lot in the boat I believe and when I've been pleasure fishing every now and again I've, I've sprayed a bait with WD-40 and I've caught fish on it but I wouldn't say that I've caught more fish on it but it certainly hasn't put fish off. But he hasn't tried the lynx effect although you certainly don't want to put this stinky stuff anywhere near your armpits. That'd be interesting. <laughs> I'll spray it on now. If I put it on one hook and we catch nothing on it, then we'll know. He has two flavours to play with. First, he coats, or rather sandblasts, the ragworm in the krill flavour. Oh, that does not smell good. Here goes the stink. We've tried the stink on trout already, and you won't believe the results. Take a look at the clip up here or search our YouTube channel for Stinky Stuff Test on Trout. So round one goes to... Plain bait ah. at the moment, plain ragworm. That really doesn't smell great to me. It's not supposed to, you're not a fish soul. I've now sprayed both the bottom hooks. They really don't want to take them bottom two hooks now. That's the last two fish on the flying hook, so I shall try the stinky stuff on the most productive hook for the last two drops. Rather than, ah, bisto, it's more, ah, balls, that didn't work. What a stinker. Right, let's try the peeler crab. The peeler crab stinky stuff is working very well. I've used the same tiny little bit of ragworm, and this is the fourth fish on the same little bit. Very little bait on the hook, and the bites are coming very quick. The ragworm, the baits get very, very quickly torn to pieces by the fish. A lot of the fish, the wrasse and such forth, have quite big teeth where they're eating mollusks and crustaceans on the seabed. When they're attacking the rag, they're ripping it to shreds. So when you reel it in, there's very little left substantial to sort of attract another fish. Well, the rag that's being sprayed, it's, it's getting more and more shredded as I'm catching fish on it. But with a fresh spray of stinky stuff, I seem to be getting bites straight away. 
on the shredded bits of rag. I've tried the artificial gulp ragworm a couple of drop downs and I've had nothing on it at all. So now I'm going to try it, spraying it with some stinky stuff. <laughs> That's a proper arm and nigger. I've got a heavier leader on this rod, 70 pound um, for power casting, which enables me to swing the lead and cast much further on a heavier duty rod. I'm going to use the multiplier. Um, to help me get a bit more distance with the heavier gear. Well, I didn't expect to see that today. Not generally a species that I'm targeting today. Um, and don't expect to sort of see them really at this time of year. They're normally early summer, would be sizable to take home, but as you can see, it's very slim and lean, so we'll return them to the water. I've had a fair few matches. I had a match on the breakwater, which is just over on Dover Harbour. I had 170 fish, um, and I actually stopped fishing halfway through the competition because it was just too many fish, and other people weren't doing the same type of fishing as me and not catching as many. Um, and I've had a, another couple of matches on Dill Pier, I've had 130 and 140 plus pouting in three hours. The busier the better. The more you're running around, the more you're, you're doing stuff, the more it flows. Although it looks hectic and manic, it actually flows when you're running around and you're busy. The slower it is, the less you're doing, the less you're thinking. All the time you're busy, your brain's working, your hands are working, you're, you're attentive to your gear, and quite often it does get you more fish. I think if, every, if everybody made a little bit of effort when they came here, um, asked a few questions of anglers that fish it all the time, and just got a bit of local knowledge, there'd be quite a lot of people that don't enjoy it, but enjoy it a lot more. How many fish is that, Saul? Uh, 30 plus. From a venue that you can't catch fish on. I can't anyway. <laughs>